What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the king of Yamantau, the Ballista Spectre, with a new skill for the pilots, Ballista Power Man, okay? It accumulates 20% more fi power, so it recharges 20% more fi faster, which means it deals 20% more damage with the increased 2.5% here, with the increased weapon damage altogether 5%, with the 30% through 3 damage modules, with the increased damage booster and the mark 2 content this is an absolute monster thing it just dominates the Yamantau completely okay and if you then jump on B positions like the one I'm showing you right here this is where you can really impact the battlefield a lot with this one robot and uh, while we're just having a ton of fun right here from this awesome position let me tell you how this video was created this video was a request from a patron of mine um, on, uh, you know, on patreon.com slash Manny, which is a way for you guys to support the channel directly with a monthly pledge of $1 or $5. Some people are giving more and less. And there are some perks as well. Uh, check out the link in the video description and pinned comment for, pa for, the, for my Patreon page if you want to know more about it. And... Um, for example, the patrons get early video access before the videos become public uh, or uh, or they have a chance to request videos and talk to me directly on a regular basis. In this case here, uh, it was a patron who, and they also, patrons also get a specific patron color and role on our Discord community server, which you see in the lower left corner of the bottom of the screen right now. And you have a purple spe special role as a patron there and a special channel to talk to me too. And in there he requested, he wanted to see uh, the new power man skill on the ballista this request actually came from a patron i didn't even know that this was a thing i didn't even know that the ballista had this crazy skill and he told me about it and he says hey man you must make a video please and i'm like okay cool and the next day i already had the pilot or the same day and i already and i started to prepare the video it took a little while to record all this game footage but here we are now, and this is the reason why you get to see this video. I just, I thought, I felt like explaining to you how, uh, how it was created. You also see that the enemy had a sniper on the enemy side, and with lockdown ammo, you see right there, there, it's almost not, you can almost not see it. It's a butch, and he has trebuchet, and he wants to hurt me. But the thing is, I have lockdown ammo on this Spectre too. And uh, so I can just walk in range, which is 1,100 meter for him and me. And then I jump up in stealth, and then he misses me with his shot, and I can lock him down and kill him. Look at this. Here we go, bum. I jump up. His shot cannot hit me because I'm in stealth. And he activates Quantum Radar. Did you see that? He activated Quantum Radar, but then he had the wrong guy targeted. He had this guy targeted, and his shot goes down into the ground on the bottom. And I get him killed with a lockdown ammo and the insane damage output of Ballista. And one more thing that you may not know. Do you? What do you think is stronger, Ballista or Trebuchet? What do you think? If you have already seen my video where I make a split screen and let the medium versus the heavy weapons fight, then you will already know the, the answer to this question because it perfectly explains and shows the difference in all weapons versus the other weapons. It's a video where I detailedly tested uh, these things, okay? If you haven't yet seen this video, in the upper right corner I linked it for you guys to check it out. It's really worth looking at because you can really learn a lot about the weapons and what, which weapons are more and less effective compared to others. I learned a lot while, watch, while doing this video myself. So yeah, check it out guys, um, if you haven't yet. It's linked in the upper right. And uh, do you notice how fast the uh, the Spectre recharges? Do you notice how insanely fast it charges? Oh my goodness, dude. This is 20% faster in, in, in charge up. That means the damage output is simply increased by 20%. This guy right there has Battleborn ability. He has bad damage resistance right now, but we can still take him down super fast. Because we have so much damage output in this machine. It's insane. Look at this damage output per hit. Absolute brutality. And after 5 seconds, we're already fully charged again. So once again, do you think it's better than Trebuchet? Or is Trebuchet better? Trebuchet is the heavy version. It must be better. Right? Right? Well. <laughs> you must, you check out that video if you want to see the results. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, guys, you like this content, then here is uh, on the screen you see it. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit this notification bell also to get notified for more video content like this. 
And, uh, and DG Gaming, by the way, was the patron who requested this video. Greetings here, my friend. And uh, so this is what you requested. This is what you wanted to see. <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> oh, man. This recharge rate is brutal, man. I, I, lo I really must say I like this, this Ballista Spectre. Because if you want to run a sniper, this is what you want to do. This is the damage that you want to have. And of course, in the future, when the test server comes, uh, we have probably already seen it by the time this video is released. Um, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the beh beh Behemoth. You guys told me how to pronounce the... I, I said Behemoth. Uh, but you guys told me it's called Behemoth. The Behemoth robot, the new one that is coming out to the into the game sometime soon, I would assume, because it's right now being tested on the test server. It has four heavy weapons. Okay? So if you don't want to run Trebuchet... You can run a different heavy weapon that does the same thing, just better than Ballista, even better. And it is Flux. The Flux is absolutely insane. Having four of those on a long-range sniper, Jesus, that is going to be changing everything. Um, especially on long-range meta maps like Yamantau, Spring Springfield Canyon, right? And this is where you can run this setup so well. And I can't wait to test this with you guys. So once the robot comes into the game, we're going to immediately roll it out and test the uh, uh, test the, the robot with the, with the flux weapons, Mark II Max, with damage boosters and everything. Jeez. Because usually, you know, the, the, the game runs as a meta on... Um, has a short range meta, right? And the brawling setups, especially on beacon rush maps, is much stronger. And you're better off choosing brawling weapons than snipers, because snipers just don't influence as much, don't have that much power. But, um, <laughs> yo, we're now on the other side of Yamantau on a different match, and we're sitting uh, also on an elevated position with a similar effect. Uh, I'm standing on the tower next to the spawn, pretty much. This little tower that is there. And I'm just sniping the heck out of these guys. And, you know, they are fighting someone else. And they just constantly get hit by something. And they're like, what the heck is this? Pam! Pam! Every time they get a punch in the face. And they're like, what the... Where does that even come from? Well... It comes from here, and you see Lambo Hunter right there with his Ares, he already took a massive hit. I took down his Ares by 50% with his one shot, and now he's going to be super careful, he doesn't want to collect any further damage. So I'm going to change my target and, and go for uh, this Pursue or whatever it is, but uh, no, it's something with a physical shield, and that's why I could not kill it. He had a physical shield. It could not be killed. Um, but I can do damage to whatever this is down there. Nice. And here's Lambo Hunter again. Is he coming out? Is he? Is he? He's with his Ares. And there he is. And he wanted to activate his shield, but sir, I was already ready for you. Sorry, my friend. And uh, it's insane. Like, we, we even control the center beacon, and that's the best spot. Like, we, we now... The enemy is constantly trying to attack, and I can just constantly hammer away at them. And there's very little they can do. Um, by the way... Once again, that leads me to my suggestion, because once you have the center beacon on Yamantau, it's pretty much impossible to capture it on Beacon Rush. Um, and that, that... Oh, no. Freaking shield came up. Um, so, I, I really would like to see the change of Yamantau as changed beacon spawns. I can show them to you here very well. One beacon position spawn... Uh, no, not beacon. One player a team spawn would be here. Where, can you see the mouse cursor? It's blue. It's not so easy to see. It's on the right side all the way here pretty much behind everything like in the open this would be one player spawn and the other player spawn would be on the opposite side to the left and this way the position i'm standing on right now the beacons here this one and the one to the left next to us this would be heavily fought for the center beacon would be fought for and the beacons on the opposing opposing sides will be sniped from before would be fought for so you spawn and you have three positions to go to and fight for the beacon and it will be a nice brawling battle of course and domination spawning in the open is going to be tricky uh, but you can always go to a certain beacon that you want to and that's really interesting so i'd like to see that test set that would be something i want to i want to see why did i pause the game I could have said all that without pausing the game. Manny, you're an idiot. Sorry, guys. Uh, yo, I had a little, a little <laughs> brain stop right there. Okay, boom, getting this guy. Whatever it was, just got, it just died. It had no chance. Boom. Bum, bum, ba -da 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 -dum -dum. Lampo Hunter is coming with another Ares. Dude, how many Ares do you have? 
This gets me upset. I, I hate it when people have many Ares. <laughs> because it's so... I want to kill Ares every time I see them. And they become my focus target as soon as I see an Ares. But the problem is, when they have five of them, I don't even hurt him. You know, he's just... Oh, I don't care. I'm just gonna check the next Ares. Bam! Urgh. Who knows uh, what's gonna happen with the Ares when the Shield Breaker comes. But um, I gave the feedback that... Uh, making the Ares worthless by completely bre insta breaking the full shield is not really the way to go for it. And people would like to, uh, are not really happy about this either, I think. Right? So let's see what's gonna happen. By the way, did you know that I had a second YouTube channel also? Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if I've, if, uh, I'm not mentioning it too often, very rarely I say it. And, uh, it's this one right here. Uh, if you haven't yet seen it, Good Mood Gaming it's called, you see it on screen. Uh, I'm doing some other games right there, PUBG and, uh, Pixel Gun and whatever. Uh, go ahead, check it out, guys. If you'd like to see more of my own gameplay and you're interested to see some more Manny Gaming somewhere else maybe, then have a look, check it out. And uh, while, while I'm taking down Lumbo, Hunt, Lumbo Hunter here, the rest of whatever he's had, uh, the last Ares, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know how many of those things he's got, but he's now destroyed. So uh, that should be the trick. Boom, what the damage. And how fast it recharges. How insanely fast this recharges. I guess we can really say this is the king of Yamantau, right? Right? What would you call the king of Yamantau? I mean, an, an Aochun is really powerful on Yamantau too with the flight. But you can dominate so well from here with this bad boy. And we have one more match coming up, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So let's jump into free fall. We tested beacon rush on both sides. And now let's go with some free fall. Uh, a few more free fall rounds. Boom! Lockdown ammo on the Spectre. See this? I activated lockdown ammo and I insta-locked him and killed him before he could jump. He wanted to wait out the, uh, the, 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 you know, his, uh, his lockdown so that he can then jump on me. But, um, he was already dead before his lockdown was done. Uh, so, yeah, this didn't work. So what do we have here? Okay, there is an enemy. Oh, look at this! Bam! My kill at 900 meters. Snap! Through the entire map like a tiny little uh, window where I shot through and I got him. Now an inqu Inquisitor spawns in front of us and uh, I activated Lockdown Ammo. And if he doesn't want to get hit by another hit, then he has to activate Stealth and that's what he does, right? He didn't want to use Stealth stationary on the ground because he wouldn't benefit from that. But what's, the, what's, what's his alternative? The alternative is getting hit in the face a few more times by the, um, by the Ballista with four on the Spectre. This is really a setup that even meta players, I think even a max level meta player with max level Ares and Aochons, even this player could really consider getting himself a ma such a Spectre. Because it is so dominant on certain long range maps and I think it makes sense to really try and take cover, as, you know, just completely lock down the entire map from afar because of how dominant you can be with this, right? Jumping into this thing again and jumping backwards, trying to get the kill, got it, and bam. I hit enemy 5 here with his Ares, and I locked him down too uh, with his shot. So now he's locked down and he got hit, and now he's he's he, he's mad. You mad, bro? You mad, bro, sir? Because he, uh, he lost his shield and he took damage and he hasn't done any, uh, you know, he hasn't gotten anything from it. Of course, he now regenerates his uh, shield ability, but I'm just waiting around the corner for the shield to end. It's, this is, by the way, a max level, uh, with max level last stand. This Ares is a super powerful last stand Ares. It's a very tough enemy and he's using lockdown weapons and he's using quantum radar. This is as max, you know, as as competitive as it gets. And look what I do with him. Boom, one hit. He's not dead because he's got last stand. Without last stand, he would now be dead. But he's locked down and waiting for it, waiting for it. Boom. Bye-bye. Full ultra brawler just flattened in short range by this sniper. And look at this guy. Boom. Look at this damage. And look how fast I recharge this much damage to finish him off. With the power man skill on the ballista, you can do so many things, dude. Oh no, I got locked down here. But I got locked down ammo ready myself. Jump up, use locked down ammo, bam. One hit, and before I, I am out of line of sight, bam, another hit. I killed a nemesis 50% right there. Uh, and then I died. I switched into the next situation. And look where I'm sniping this guy through! This tiny little cover thing! Such a tiny little mini position that I just shot through and I got the kill. Boom, next kill. 
And I think that the Ares player in the end, he actually left the game. If I remember correctly, I think that the Ares player has even left the game or something. Or, or was it a different match where I had this happen? I'm not sure. Because, you know, every time he tries to kill something, I just kill it. I just take it away from him. He's working hard to work down the kills, and then I come just, boop, my kill. And at, at unlimited range, pretty much. And that's also something that makes the Spectre with Ballista interesting in Free For All. You do, you do a huge amount of damage, you do it very often, very flexible in all directions, and, uh, and you just can kill, kill steal everything. Here, I'm trying to be tricky and just jumping into safety, but you know what? He activates his shield, he activates Quantum Raider, and then he destroys me pretty much, almost completely with his Ares. And there's nothing I can do, I can't fight back behind his shield, you know? So, and with the locked, uh, with the, um, what's it called, the Quantum Raider, not even my stealth was worth, worth anything, right? So, he counters my ability, and I have no way to counter his ability, how fair is that? Um, but that's why I guess Pixonic is working on Shield Breaker. But it shouldn't deactivate the Ares completely. It should still make the Ares useful in some way and not just break the shield completely. Alright, so we won with 14 kills on the sniper map. So even in free for all, this is an absolute beastie boy. So let's jump one last time into a map here on uh, on Yamantau. Uh, I mean, we're playing only Yamantau right now. But you see what I'm doing right now. You see a Komiho is coming up. The Komiho wants to get fast to the beacon, but he can't because, you know, I'm locking it completely. And now I'm changing target to a f uh, Aochun, because the Aochun is a powerful meta bot, and I feel like the meta bot is more important to be taken out than um, than the uh, than the Komiho is. The Komiho wouldn't really win the match, um, but, you know. We're accelerating the rest of the match a little bit, just to see you, uh, show you a little bit more of the influence. Uh, quick. We have it like by by 60 or 100% uh, accelerated. I'm not sure. I think it's almost 100% faster. Twice as much speed. We even have a sniper on the enemy side. See that? He also sniped back with Trebuchet and Gecko. But I can just absolutely flatten the dude. Once he comes in sight, he's get, lot, he's get locked down and then he gets killed. No chance. Even a strong Natasha gets super flattened super quick. Boom. And do these hits. Look at this. Boom. Look how much damage they take. Oh man. So DG Gaming, you saw the video I've made here. A lot. I, I, I made it super long. I made it for you extra long so you get the extra massive uh, massive request uh, fulfilled, I hope, um, to see uh, to see exactly what you wanted to see. And uh, when patrons request stuff like this, I usually try and make it happen as best as I can. And that's again uh, because it's, this is my way of uh, thanking patrons for their support. Uh, and uh, uh, on the on patreon.com on the channel which once again it's linked to the video description if you haven't yet uh, checked it out and you're interested to see what this fuss is all about okay and oh man <laughs> absorber shields everywhere wherever you look everybody's running around with absorber shields because this is the only way where they don't take damage from me a uh, damage damn damage that that's probably where it comes from it's damage yep Alright, and jumping in here, last sec situation, boop, snacked a kill, and walking in on the enemy beacon, they have pretty much only this one beacon where they can now spawn, because we also capped, with my support from behind, with my sniping long range support, my team was easily able to capture the beacon on their side right there, because the enemy just couldn't go anywhere, when they spawn, they're already in my range, see that? So you even end up first with a sniper. That's unusual. Normally snipers don't end up first in War Robots, but this bad boy with a power man does. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.